Hi, I'm Louisa Sidrabat, a liquidator and bankruptcy trustee. Today's question is, if I put my company into liquidation, can the liquidator come after my personal assets? This is a really important question to most directors and shareholders as they consider putting their company into liquidation. And the answer to this is that there's a general principle and then there's some exceptions. So the general principle is that a liquidator, once the company's in liquidation, will be in charge of the assets of the company. So in that case, they're not in charge of the director's personal assets or the shareholder's personal assets. However, part of a liquidator's role is to investigate what's happened in the company, including its transactions in the lead up to liquidation. So as part of this, one of the things the liquidator will look at is payments of money or um, the giving of assets to the director, shareholders, related parties, and parties um, also involved in transactions with the company who might not be related to it. Now, as part of this, the liquidator is looking for certain types of transactions that may be subject to clawback. So these types of transactions include um, where sums of money were given in payment of or repayment of a loan when other, com uh, when other creditors haven't been paid. Um, if there have been transactions at under market value, for example, the gifting of an asset or the sale of an asset for less than market value. Um, other things that the liquidator is looking for is potential insolvent trading and if there's any claim against the director or directors for that and if there's been any breaches of director's duties. They're some of the main things that a liquidator will look for but there are a long list of other things a liquidator is required to have a look at as well. So if one of those types of claims exist and it is against a director or shareholder who may have received a large sum of money or an asset um, without giving market value consideration or market value payment or market value value in return for that asset, then a liquidator can look to those particular assets even if they're now in the personal names of the directors or shareholders or some third party. So what can you do to prevent um, being in that situation before putting the company into liquidation? So one of the things to consider is what sort of transactions have occurred between the company and you or the shareholders or a related party um, and have a look to see if they were at market value. If not, um, then there's nothing to stop um, the director or shareholder or whatever making that transaction at market value in retrospect, as in paying the company um, the value of the asset that it's received or um, otherwise uh, making the transaction not fit in that clawback type category in a totally legal way, of course. If you're not sure about if any transactions of the company might have uh, might fall into that category, please do speak with a liquidator because sometimes liquidators are willing to um, point out um, in a situation specific to that company what could potentially be subject to clawback if that company is going into liquidation, which gives the directors and shareholders a little bit more um, information that is usually quite important to them before the company goes into liquidation.